and you are looking at history here on WOSN. I'm Miles Holiday, Nate Garlic next to me, and it is set spikes and sundown here at Shawnee High School. The first ever outside volleyball match in the state of Ohio. Shawnee, the Indians taking on Spencerville, the Bearcats. And Nate, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? I tell you what, honestly, nowhere. It, it, it's always great to be a part of history, even if it's just watching it. That's what we have a chance here to do tonight. And, you know, I'll tell you what, it has not been an easy week of weather here in Ohio as we've had to deal with some extreme heats. And then, you know, you had the, the thunderstorms and all the rain. And this morning it was a little rough. And then here it is, come time to play a volleyball game here outdoors. The sun is setting, it has cooled off. We got a nice breeze going. You couldn't ask for a better night for some volleyball. Yeah, Brooke Hutchins and Steve Owen to AD here. Brooke, the head coach at Shawnee. A great job putting this together, really, Nate, in only two weeks' time and bringing a sport court, a portable court in here so they can play this thing. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, and I think they, they got the idea. Newark had uh, like a preseason type of thing down there uh, a couple of weeks ago the OHSAA really promoted that and you got the first look at this is something that could be a reality and you got to give coach Hutchins a ton of credit to see that have that foresight to be like you know what let's do that here and then for the administration here at Shawnee to back her up and say yeah let's find a way to make this work and being able to get the officials and figure and find a team that's willing to do a regular season game outdoors on a Saturday night and it all came together, and it's going to be a great night here tonight. It's been an incredible atmosphere. Played a JV game here earlier ago. They got DJ Frenzy mixing the tunes, spitting some fire, Nate. It is a great event. All kinds of people here. Now let's take a look at the two teams, though. Shawnee comes in at 5-2, and two. of course, WBL champs a year ago. What about this team that you like, Nate? Well, I, I think it's the consistency that Coach Hutchins gets out of her team. She really started to turn this team around two years ago, and we saw that kind of come to fruition last year with a deep tournament run, but they weren't satisfied. It wasn't a, okay, well, this is what we had. It was, this is now the standard. And they came into this year with that expectation of that is now the new standard. And these girls have embraced that. They have a lot of young girls, but they uh, have really stepped up. The underclassmen are very talented. They're getting a lot out of it. And they're only getting healthier now, too, and becoming a better team as this season goes on. Now let's take a look at their opponent tonight. The Bearcats of Spencerville coming in, Nate, at 0-4. Haven't even won a set yet, but give Keeley Lehman, the head coach, a lot of credit. How many teams would kind of dodge this opportunity? Not her. She says, let's go ahead and let's have some fun. Yeah, absolutely. Coach Lehman's not moving away from, uh, you know, a challenge, and that's what they have here tonight. I mean, there, it's no um, secret that Spencerville has been struggling this year, 0-4 so far, like you mentioned. Haven't even been able to win a set yet, but... These girls continue to fight. You even saw it in that JV game. The energy level is up. All the girls were around the court. This is not a team that's just here to participate. They came here wanting to pull off an upset, and the way that they're playing out here and the way that they're warming up out on the court here tonight, you know, they're here to give Shawnee a fight. It's going to be an incredible night. History in the making right here. We're going to have the opening serve momentarily. Sets, spikes, and sundown at Shawnee High School. Shawnee, Spencerville, up next here on WOSN. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. Nate Garlic, Miles Holiday on hand. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak. Delphus and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. A starting lineups just announced here. Great national anthem by Michelle Connor to get things started. For the Bearcats, it is Lee, Post, Faust, Cook, Schwartz, and Hemker. Who in that lineup, Nate, do we need to be aware of? I'm sorry, my mic cut out on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miles, what'd you say? On that Bearcat lineup, who who do we need to be aware yeah, of? Yeah, well, I mean, I think they got a, a lot of size on the inside. It's starting with uh, number 21, uh, the uh, big one up front. That's going to be Briley Cook. And she, she has the size that can cause a lot of problems up front. And they're going to need her to come up big against a very powerful return coming from the Indians. And the starters for the Indians, Hutchins, Hutchins, Kriegel, Brutus Sill, Burris, and Brickner, and Maggie Jordan is the libero. 
is a lineup that is now getting healthy, isn't it, Nate? Yeah, with Sydney Burst returning from injury tonight, she's said to give them some extra firepower. She returns to that starting lineup. You know, but uh, I think because of the growth that has happened this year, the, the Hutchins sisters and what they've been able to do, I mean, it never hurts, right, when your mom is the head coach and, <laughs> right. and, and there's that extra reps and you get to be immersed in this even more. And you can really see that when they when they play together. It, they've been waiting for this year to happen for Josie, who's a freshman, to get up and be able to play with Carly, and they've really been taking full advantage of that here this year so far. Spencerville will start things off with a serve, and it will be... Tatum Schwartz, three aces on the year to get things started. Very important for the Bearcats to get off to a good start. You see the libero Jordan mixes in, gets the first serve receive for Shawnee. Not enough to get it over. First point goes yeah. to Shawnee. Yeah, nothing new, new too crazy or um, fancy right there. Just Shawnee doing a nice job of returning it back over the net. And Spencerville, unfortunately, not able to handle it quickly enough. First point ever for set spikes and sundown goes to Shawnee. And a thank you very much. Shawnee will take Another one, this one goes off the side of Lee. Quickly, 2 nothing, Shawnee. At first ace of the night for the Indians. I got a feeling we're going to see quite a few of those yet still to come. A little bit of confusion on where the volleyball is going to come in, but we got it and ready to go. 2 nothing, Shawnee on the serve. Good first ball by the Bearcats. Get it over. Back corner, and it is out quickly. 3 nothing, Shawnee. And just a little bit too much on that one by Kelsey Lee. She was just trying to get... To get it over into the middle of that Shawnee defense and put a little bit too much on it. Going back to the same spot, trying to hustle it down. Can't get there. Good effort, though, by Lee. Carly Hutchins with yet another ace. Quickly, 4 nothing. Yeah, she's doing a great job putting a lot of power on those shots. And unfortunately, there wasn't much Allison Post could do with that one. Interesting to see if she goes back to the same spot. And in fact, she does. Joust at the net. That time it's going to be one, but a net violation. Yeah, you saw Briley Cook try to get up and just tip that one over and got a little bit too far over on that one. Shawnee up to the quick 5 0 lead. A little too exuberant. You see the size of Briley Lee, the middle, imposing for the Bearcats. Same spot, another ace. And Rinse and repeat. Yeah, I think Allison Post probably would have been better if she just let that one go. As you saw Hutchin put a little bit too much on that one. But either way, Shawnee Point's going to be 6-0 and lead us to our first timeout. And Keeley Lehman calls timeout with the Bearcats down 6-0. With that, we'll step aside here at Shawnee High School. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. Keely Lehman calling timeout because her team's down quickly, 6 nothing. You like the strategy there, Nate? Yeah, I think you had to try to halt that momentum a little bit, get your girls back to being focused. You, you want to get this serve back. Bad news is Carly Hutchins still serving. Same spot, joust at the net. Into the net yet again. Bearcats having a tough time navigating that net. Yeah, you can tell they're anticipating that coming over and they're just trying to meet him at the net, but. And right now, the timing's a little bit off. 7-0 run currently for Shawnee. A little drop stop that time. Gets it over. Yeah, Spencerville finally able to get that one over. Back row attack into the net. First point of the night for Spencerville. As Shawnee helps him out going in the net. Yeah, coming out of that timeout, able to get that serve back. Girl seemed a little bit more under control in that time. Sawyer serves it up for Spencerville. Good first ball. Outside attack, and that's going to be put down for the easy ace or easy kill. And that one coming from the other side is Gianna Upshaw. Did a nice job to get that one across. And right there, you had you got an idea of why this Indians team is so good, and what Coach Hutchins has been able to develop is. The attack can come from anywhere, mm. and it is just as good as whether it flowed through, you know, Josie or Carly or, or whoever it may come from. That they're so talented at all the positions. As Spencerville gets it over, free ball opportunity for Shawnee. The attack. 
Looks like a little bit of miscommunication there. That How about Hutchinson? Way. What a good job recovering. Hutchins lays out to get it back up and attack in the middle. Partially blocked. Set on the pin. Big time dig in the back by Spencerville. Great hustle play to keep that one alive by Tatum Swartz. Spencerville with an opportunity here to get the point. The best rally of the night for both teams. Outside attack again. Off the block inside. Rudikill with the kill. Boy, the, the number of hitters that the Shawnee team can put out there, impressive. Yeah, absolutely, like we were just talking about. You know, that's the third different uh, Shawnee Indian to score yet tonight. The, the strikes are powerful. They're on the target. And we're going to have a net violation. That point's going to go to Shawnee as well. I like the strategy, trying to get Cook set up. Four Couldn't get it over. Hit the net, came right back. Now 10-1, to one, Shawnee. Opportunity here. Back row attack, partially blocked. Back at Spencerville, get it over. Fantastic back set. Oh, and put it down the freshman. Upshaw, 66 kills coming in tonight. Two points ago, we saw Gianna do it from one side of the floor. This time it was on the other, getting it done with the left hand as the powerful strike comes through and gets the Indians another point. Is it tough for the defense uh, being a wrong-handed attacker by Upshaw? I mean, I would have to think just because you're so used to and comfortable with it coming in one way, you start to position yourself in a way to be able to return it, and then all of a sudden she sends this powerful There's strike right coming at you, from Nate. the other way. And we knew we were going to be in the danger zone down here, Miles. <laughs> They're going to come right at us. I love it. A good hustle effort play by Spencerville to get the point. 11-2 now with the serve. Cook serves it up. A good first ball. Opportunity here for Spencerville. Back over. A good one. Outside two. Into the net, though. Point Spencerville. Yeah, Rudisil tried to come and, and get that one over, but couldn't quite get it over the net. Spencerville able to get a couple of points. A little bit of a rally here for the Bearcats. We anticipated seeing Sydney Burris doing some setting, but so far it has been Carly Hutchins who leads this Shawnee team with 164 eight assists on the year. Addie Kriegel coming back into the game for Shawnee. They got that last point to go up 12 to three. Brickner serves this one up, and that is going to be a out of play. Point goes to Shawnee. You, know, you see, you saw right there, uh, I'm not sure if our cameras caught it, but it's one of the unique things about this entire setup, playing outdoors, out on a football field, as uh, I believe that that was Swartz was going out to try to save that one. The floor's a little uneven over there. She stepped out. Usually in a gym, you have some extra space. they got to be a little bit more conscious of where they're at when they're going off to try to get these hustle plays to keep balls alive. That means you better be really good with that first ball. Opportunity from the back row, that's Cook. Great effort by Shawnee to get it over. This one's in play. Cook lets it go. Another point, Shawnee. What a great exchange that time for the Indians. Carly Hutchins did enough to be able to hustle and get to that one to send it over the debt. And, you know, Cook definitely thought that that one was going to be a little bit long. But unfortunately for Spencerville, it falls in. And it just sh shows, I think, um, kind of the skill level that you see out of the Indians. They're not letting any of these go. They're hustling to everything. They're trying to keep everything alive that they possibly can. And Brickner goes to Cook. Good one ball back up. Boy, that left hand is vicious. Sets up Carly in the back into the net. Second time in the net for Carly in this match. Still have a 10-4 lead for Shawnee. And you can see Carly getting some instructions over there from the sidelines. It's always unique when we, we run across these teams where you have, you know, coach being a parent uh, to, to one of the uh, main athletes on the, on the floor. And it's always kind of fun to watch those dynamics. Eddie with a quick kill out of the middle. I love the quick set. Kriegel's able to go up and get it in a hurry. Thing about a quick set, it doesn't allow the middle to get there in time, allows your hitter to be free. 15-4 now, Shawnee with command of this opening set. 
Right now, Spencerville just looking for answers, just trying to see if they can't keep one of these long volleys and relays alive. Really struggling with that first pass, Nate. They haven't, haven't been in system much tonight. Nice dig that time. Able to dump it over. Good two ball right there. Dang. Yeah, you see Briley Cook trying to get at that one, see if she couldn't keep it alive yet again. But even with as long as she is, just out of her outstretched arms. Yeah, how about Kriegel? Well, she loves that quick set in the middle, doesn't she? Yeah, they're really good at getting that. And excuse me, as uh, you know, you see right now the Indians doing just about everything right. That one's gonna go long. 17-4 now. And Shawnee is just taking this opportunity to run away with this opening set. Now you had mentioned that Spencerville really needed to get off to a, a quick start here in this first set. and I Can't really uh, imagine that Coach Lehman is happy with what she's seeing so far as they get a point there, though. Now Burris uh, setting it, tries to get it to the outside to Hutchins. Hutchins goes into the net. Again, 17-5, and if... Spencerville's going to mount an attack to try and capture this first set. They better get on a run here. This is Post with the serve. Burris with a great set. And how about the denial inside by Schwartz? Says Schwartz Construction building walls in the middle of the floor <laughs> since 2024. <laughs> Burris with the back set. Off the block, out of bounds. Yeah, Rudisil does a nice job. She saw that the block was coming, put a little extra on there, and they got the fortunate bounces that spun off and stayed in for the point. They don't have to go through the block every time, just go off and out of bounds, collect another point, 18-6. And Spencerville taking a little bit of time, doing some housekeeping, wiping off the floor. It is a little bit humid now that the sun has gone down. Yeah, it's starting to get that a little bit. You know, it was cooled off there for a little while, but starting to feel that humidity. The floor is going to get a little bit. It's going to be wetter than what, you know, you would typically see indoors. And so uh, I don't want anybody to slip into any injuries here tonight. It's going to be Josie Hutchins checking back into the game. Nate, is this the first volleyball match you've ever called with a DJ? <laughs> it is, yes. This, this, it, it adds to the list of firsts for volleyball Rudisil. games for me, yes. Boy, Rudisil has had a great opening set, a couple big kills, and that time just a nasty knuckleball for an ace. 19-6, Shawnee on top. Shawnee out to this big lead. Another shank you very much. Ace. Cook pats herself on the chest, a universal sign of my bad but it's going to result in another point. And Nate, I always say the first one to 20, more times than not, wins the set. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you know, you, you feel like some teams are already starting to look towards the second set. Let's get over this one, you know, and some miscommunication yet again. As it just seems that the uh, Bearcats are just a little bit out of rhythm right now. That They're not really a lot of communication happening on the floor. And, you know, I think uh, right now, moving on to the second set, give them a chance to kind of catch their, catch their breath a little bit. Well, this uh, Shawnee team does not waste time. They get the ball and they go. They don't let the defense relax at all and collect themselves. They get the ball and they serve it right away. Now 22-6. This one goes to Cook. Try to go around the pin, not going to work. I thought Lee did her best. Tough opportunity for her. Couldn't get it around. Yeah, it took a weird angle coming off of that second shot as we have another timeout on the floor. Timeout on the floor. Kaylee Lehman trying to regroup Spencerville as they're down 23-6. We'll step aside here on WOSN. Welcome back to Shawnee High School. Set spikes in sundown. Timeout by Keely Lehman, head coach of the Bearcats. They need a can of instant points down 23-6. You know, Miles, not just welcome back to Shawnee High School. Welcome back to the Shawnee High School football field. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Set by Burris on the pin. Off the double block. Bearcats still struggling to get something in system. And somehow the Indians able to keep that one alive. Opportunity in the middle taken by Burris. Back to Carly on the outside. 
Going to say that one is wide point to the Bearcats. Well, I'll say this about the Bearcats. Two timeouts, two good responses out of those timeouts. And that's what you want to see if you're Coach Lehman, you know, that you can bring your girls together, you can kind of get them. So the scoreboard is having a little bit of an issue. So I believe it was 23-8 to eight before that went down. 23-8, I think you're correct. There is an eight just flashing on the board. It's infinite. Score is Spencer 7, Shawnee 23. So we're wrong. All right, guy. <laughs> Guy in the press box is going to tell us it is 23-7. Spencerville is serving. And that's Kelsey Lee, who got some great sneakers on, Nate. Oh, I love them. Those are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easter time. Absolutely. Those are fantastic. Sneaker game strong at Spencerville. Great pancake effort right there. Off the block, and we're going to have a net and violation. violation. Side out, Sean E. Emily McKissick. What an awesome dig. Yeah, they're going to say Schwartz was in the net. All right, the third violation on the net for Spencerville. 24-7 now. Opportunity to gain set number one here for Shawnee. Spenceville trying to keep things alive. Shawnee like to end it right here. Don't want to have to prolong this one any longer than necessary. But Spencerville staying alive. 24-8 now. A really nice play by Cook to dump it over, give them an opportunity, Spencerville. Nate, I, I'm still certain at some point in time that Lee's famous inflatable is going to come in play here tonight. <laughs> Makes a nice backdrop. Great set in the back, and that one's going to be a winner. Josie Hutchins hits the floor. Set number one goes to Shawnee, 25-8. We'll have set number two coming up here on WOSN. Welcome back. Nate Garlic, Miles Holiday on hand here at Shawnee High School, the Shawnee football field, hosting volleyball here at Shawnee High School. This game is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak. Delphus and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. Nate, my go-to, the mashed potatoes and gravy, absolutely the yeah, best. Those are good, they got a lot of good, you know what, there, there's a whole lot. I think potato wedges, if I had to Ooh, pick. I love those good. potato those wedges. Those are good. Uh, the chicken fingers are amazing, not sure where the finger is on a chicken, but I eat it, it's Either good. way, it's yeah. delicious. <laughs> I'll tell you what else was good, that was the Shawnee Indians in set number one, ran away with that one, impressive yeah. stuff. Yeah, they really uh, left no doubt as they came out, and I think, uh, they caught Spencerville quickly. Spencerville was trying. They were on their heels a lot, a lot of guessing. And then you kind of saw that frustration start setting in. The communication went. They tried to bring it. They tried to bring it up. You saw Coach Lemmy take a couple of timeouts. The girls answered those timeouts well with points, but they just couldn't sustain those. They're going to have to find a way here in the second set to sustain those uh, those volleys and, and trying to see if they can't get themselves. Um, you know, out to a better start and try to keep this one close. Yeah, pretty good formula if they can get to it, right? Cook on a big three ball in the middle. They just have not been able to get in system all night long. Too many times they've just had to dump it to get across. And when you're playing a team that is good defensively like Shawnee, you got to take opportunities to get a big kill. I'll tell you what, Miles, with the, with the DJ going here tonight, it's real hard to focus on anything. You just, all this energy, you, were, you, you were, want to get going. Full, dis, full disclosure, yeah. Nate Garlock was pumping up the jams in between sets. Gosh, hey, Look, I, I don't know how you even made it in here. I mean, the, the way you were surrounded by people wanting autographs uh, was absolutely amazing. <laughs> well, you, I, I do understand the misunderstanding there. They were actually asking me if I knew where you were <laughs> and how I could get them in touch with you. I ran out of an 8x10 high glossies <laughs> on my way, way walking in here. Well, the floor is held up pretty well. I was a little bit concerned, right, yeah. uh, being on top of a football field, but this sport court has been absolutely fantastic. How about the family and the families here at uh, Shawnee getting together and, and putting this in? Yeah. So a lot of dads doing hard work out here. Yeah, and it, w well, it wasn't something that they could do, you know, last night or early, even early this morning. You know, Shawnee hosted two football games earlier today as well, so this was all something that had to be put together pretty quickly, and, you know, obviously both teams were hoping that it had been done in enough time to allow them to get some practice and some warm-ups on it to get used to it as well so 
It, you know, they, they talked about it um, prior to the game starting that really this whole effort has been a huge community thing and wouldn't be able to, uh, to accomplish this tonight without a lot of the community input and support. A one nothing quickly, Shawnee. And how about that? Spencerville finally gets a great in-system attack, and it gets returned by, I heard, Jizzy Bear, Gianna Bear Upshaw. That's what the PA announcer said. <laughs> Gianna Upshaw, Upshaw un a fantastic player. But uh, how about that nickname, Nate? You like it? Uh, you know, you're the nickname guy right? I do here, like so, nicknames. Yeah. Great set inside, returned by Cook. Another attack on the outside by Upshaw, but we're going to have a net violation against Spencerville. You know, every time it seems like Spencerville starting to get a little bit going, it seems it's those net violations that kind of cut them off at the knees. With Spencerville in the net again, wasn't Shawnee? Two to one, Shawnee. Great serve by Josie again. Josie has just been eating up that back row of Spencerville, and unfortunately, it's for Allison Post. She's been the recipient of most of those serves. And they've been difficult to handle. She puts a little something extra on those. The Hutchins sisters came in, seven and nine aces on the year, and they've added to that total here tonight. Rotation violation, Bearcats, point, Shawnee. And Tatum Schwartz is going to be whistled for the violation moved. Now here's the thing, if you're a coach and you're not certain, you can ask the official before the point to make sure you are not going to be in violation. Unfortunately, Spencerville, a team that can't give up points, have given up uh, two easy points for Shawnee early in the second set. Yeah, just a couple of little mental mistakes as, you know, obviously as they're, they're moving through here, trying to clean those up, but you got to do those quickly. And they catch a break that time with Hutchins serve being a little deep. A great communication for Spencerville. That was Hemker that told Post to let it go. You know, I think that's really what we've seen Spencerville missing so far. We obviously have a great spot here for tonight's game and a little bit closer to the action than maybe we would normally get. And the communication for Spencerville hasn't quite been there. When they do communicate and they talk, we're seeing good ball movement. The rotation looks good. They're being able to return the serves. It's when they stop kind of talking that we're really seeing uh, a, a lot of the issues, especially in the middle of the floor. Tremendous dig by Sawyers in the back, but it's going to be four contacts for Spencerville. Another point for Shawnee. Liz Kinnear in the back. Boy, this offensive attack for Shawnee. Nate, you look at all the ladies with double-digit kills. Pick your poison with them. Big attack in the middle, return to sender. Cook with a big block in the middle. And that's what Spencerville needs. They need Briley Cook to get going, especially right at the net. She is such a huge asset of this team, especially with her length and size. If they can get her going and she starts feeling confident, she can help this team really put some pressure on the Indians. Cooking up some defense in the middle there. Man, I'll tell you what, you, you, never, you, you, never let, you never let one pass by, do you? <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Cook with a great play on the block. She serves it. A good first pass outside. And this one's going to be a little bit long. Much better second set here for the Bearcats. 5-4 is last time they watched uh, Shawnee race out to an 11-1 lead. That was Rudisil that went long on the attack for Shawnee in the middle this time. Got to dump it over. Great effort to get it back up. Left hand again. If you can set up Upshaw and let her be able to go with that left hand. I have yet to see Spencerville be able to handle it. And Gianna Upshaw, the big freshman with the lefty again outside hit attack. Nate, 5'10". As a freshman, she's going to be a six-foot player maybe by the time she's yeah, done. she's going to be so good when it's all said and done. A good first ball for Spencerville. Attack on the outside. Dumped it over. Great coverage by Rudisil. Nice effort to keep that one alive. I'm going to call four hits, four hits by Spencerville. Four contacts. Point, Shawnee. Spencerville arguing, saying no, it was only three. The officials talking about it. I think that there might be 
I think Spetsville has an argument here, Miles. I, I thought I it was one. three yeah. as well, yeah. Unless they're calling a double hit on one of the on the dive attempt, then you just call the double, right? Yeah. All right, either way, points going to it. The, Someone the throw Indians. the challenge yeah. flag. <laughs> Seven four, Shawnee with the serve. Nice reception by Cook. Dumped over. Now it is Shawnee working off the net. Carly Hutchins, sometimes you don't have to be good, just a little bit lucky. Yeah, done a nice job of getting that one back over through contact, and it just fell into no man's lane there on the Fencerville side. It was a good top spin by Carly, though, to get it to roll over. Taken by Cook in the middle. Boy, that back row has been solid for Shawnee all night. This one's going to roll over. Leah yeah, Rudisell with the return. She's going to get the point as. Uh, Shawnee's been able to extend this lead. It was 5-4 just a few points ago, but now with the 9-4 lead. Up to Cook from the back row. She's going to dump it back corner, and that's going to fall in. Smart play by Cook. Nice job of sending that one long, and it ends up going out right on the line, it looked like, on the Shawnee's side. And it looks like Spenceville's playing with a lot more confidence here in the second set. A much better effort here, especially on serve-receive by Spencerville in set number two. This is Lehman with the serve. Outside attack into the net. And Carly Hutchins goes into the tag. Got to be one of those tough things for Carly. Nate, she's been the setter all year long, right? Now she has an opportunity to get outside. It's going to take a while to get that rhythm going. Yeah, and I think you're seeing that in her. You saw a little bit of frustration that time as she's been in the net a few times, and you can tell she's not happy about it. She's trying to make the adjustment. She'll get there, you know, but it doesn't mean that it'll take away some of the frustration before then. Yeah, Sydney Burris returning as the, the setter. You know, that takes a little bit of chemistry work as well. Had been on the lineup. She's going to have to figure out again where her outside hitters want that. She's got to figure it out in the middle, right? Middles want it quick and, and fast tempo. Good job getting it over by Spencerville. Middle attack again, and it's going to be handcuffed. That's Krieger in the mid middle. Eleven six now. Shawnee on top. Back corner dump. It works successfully. Yeah, Spencerville doing a much better job. Their spacing looks better. They're moving a lot better. And, and you're seeing the results of that as they're keeping this one close. They just got to get see if they can't string together a couple of points here. And Nate, we're trying to figure out who number 20 is in the back row for Shawnee. Don't have it on the on the roster. Thought maybe it was a JV player that came up here for this game, but there's no 20 on the JV roster either. For contact, side out, Shawnee. That's Schwartz that couldn't get it over on hit number three. 12-7 now. Shawnee on top. Spenceville still unable to string together back-to-back -to -back points. Maggie Jordan. In the back as Shawnee does a little housekeeping as well. Some moisture on the floor. I'm going to do the backwards bunny hop to clean it up. <laughs> you know, Josie probably does not want to do the floors at home, right? Do, can you see, you know, <laughs> honey, will you clean the kitchen floors? Mom, do I have to? But here at the volleyball court, no problem. Yeah, happy to do it here. Nice dig, get that one up. Really good work in the back row that was post that got it up, and her work is going to be rewarded as Spencerville gets another point. Yeah, Spencerville hanging around, doing just enough right now, but like we said, they've been unable to get back-to-back -back points yet. Looking to do that right here. 12-8 now, Spencerville serving it up. Outside pin attack, going to poke it over. Goes to Spencerville as Shawnee can't get it over. That time it was Josie Hutchins trying outside attack. Just not enough. Lee with the serve again. 
Kelsey Lee just a little bit long on that one. Serve's gonna go back to Shawnee. I think everybody keeps waiting to see Shawnee go on this long extended point run that they're used to, but Spencerville did a nice job of cutting those off, getting the serves back. We'll see if they're able to minimize the damage here. Goes at post in the back row. Cook dumps it over. Outside attack by Hutchins. It is well defended, but point is going to still go to Shawnee. That yeah, miscommunication yet again as Briley Cook had that hit up. She was waiting on Andia Shaw to try to clean it up. And I think it just kind of got caught in the middle. Shaw a little hesitant and ends up falling down for the point for Shawnee. Ooh, nasty serve. Good job by Post to get it up. And we're going to have a whistle as another net violation. Double oh, double, double contact. Hit, yep. That is one of those things that you have to be aware how the officials are going to call it early. Yeah. I mean, it, and it's such a judgment call, too, for officials. And, um, you know, our, our good friend Mark Shine, he, he does a nice job of keeping us kind of uh, updated and abreast of how, how the officials kind of look at that um, throughout the, the high school season. And, you know, it is one of those things where, you know, it, it's hard for, I think, everybody to see just because of you know being away it's from true. the court and everything else. The officials have such a good look at it. Sometimes people question that call probably more than others. Good job by Cook scoring the point for Spencerville. Tough play in the middle, well handled by Hutchins. Opportunity here for Spencerville. Cook into the net. Was going to be well defended anyhow by Liz Kinnear. And yeah, they got the ball they wanted and Cook had an opportunity but just couldn't get it over the net. 16-10, Shawnee with the serve. So thanks to uh, the substitution, number 20 was Emily McKissick. Nice job. Keep those years working. Emily McKissick. 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 All right. So Emily checks out as Rudisil came, came back into the game for the Indians. That one was a little bit long. Point going to Spencerville. Make it 17 to 11. 17 11. Spencerville, here's your opportunity. Call yourself back into this match. The Sawyer's back to serve it up for Spencerville. Gets the whistle from the official, and here we go. Big time opportunity, big time Liz score. Kinnear. Liz Kinnear has been dynamic in the middle for, for Shawnee. Yeah, and that was a great exchange right there as well. As they, Shawnee set that up perfectly and ending with a powerful strike over for a point. A deep serve to the middle, handled well by Spencerville. Outside attack, and this one's going to go long. Going to go to Spencerville, though, is a, a, a rare net violation by Shawnee. That's been something that has hindered Spencerville Hill tonight. First time for Shawnee. Yeah, nice break for the Bearcats as they did, as you mentioned, sent that one long. So it was going to be Shawnee point, but reverse of fortunes thanks to the net violation. Briley Cook about ready to launch this one. Good time for Spencerville to go on a run. First ball handled well by Shawnee. Outside attack off the tape. Bill Karras with a pass. Kill by Leah. Leah Rudisil again. Yeah, great, again. Yeah, great effort by Kate Hemker from Spencerville to try to keep that one in. But man, that came off hot from Rudisil. Had a little extra hot sauce on that one. Yeah. Hot sauce on Lee's chicken, right? Would be fantastic. Great tie in, Miles. Great tie in. <laughs> Boy, a floater to the back row, handled well by Cook. Roll shot over top. How about the dive by Jordan? Great effort. Not going to go the way they want. Nineteen thirteen. Now, as things get steamy here at Shawnee, the humidity is something else here, isn't it? It, it is. It is getting a, a little bit more and more humid as this game goes on, for sure. Back set, handled well. That was Rudisil with a kill attempt, and Cook can't handle it. Point's going to go 
to Shawnee, 2013. First one to 20 is Shawnee. Yeah, Cook was a little bit far back on that time as she was trying to get it over the net. Didn't have a great angle and tried to do what she could with it, but unfortunately for the Bearcats, stayed on their side of the court. I like the fact that Cook is an all-around player, though. Doesn't sub out for the back row. Yeah. Uh, Might have been a double. Officials let it go, and that one is going to land in as it was Rudisil that gave chase, but for naught. Spencerville continuing to hang around, only down six points right now. Been struggling, though, to put points together, right? Right. One for one, can't get you back in the set. This is post. Works the left-hand side of the floor, and that's going to go a little bit long. Three point. Boy, unforced errors, something that is hindered. Spencerville all night long. Yeah, and it's like you said, continuing to struggle, stringing points together. The one for one is not going to get him back in this set. Back set of opportunity, and it's going to go over top the net, but go long outside. Point is going to go to Shawnee. Bad break for Spencerville. As I think the Bearcats thought for sure that that one was going to be in and be their point. Side out, Spencerville. One of those things that I don't know if I could coach volleyball, Nate, because when we serve it in the net, I just would want to pull my hair out, right? <laughs> just get it over. Right. I know you don't want to lollipop it, but still get the set, serve over. This is Hutchins who's going to score from the back row. Violation. Yeah, that, that, that a net violation as well. So either way, Shawnee was going to get the Shout points, out, and they are the uh, getting closer to closing this set out. 23-15 now. Hutchins with the serve. A little miscommunication that time by Spencerville on Point the two ball. Shawnee. And that's what we're seeing when, when sh the communication for Spencerville breaks down. That's when they're having their most issues right now as they have set point coming. And we're going to have a timeout. Time Keely Lehman calls timeout on set point. Can she rally the Bearcats? We'll find out after this here on WOSN. Nick Garlock, Miles Holiday back at Shawnee. Tonight's game is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, but famous for catering, too. Set point here for Shawnee, up 24-15. Hutchins with the serve. We've seen Spencerville do a nice job of responding at a timeout so far tonight. They're going to need to do that right here, right now. Great effort by Lee to get it back up, but that's going to go for naught. The kill in the middle goes to Liz Kinnear. Set number two goes to Shawnee. Up 2 nothing. Set number three headed your way on WOSN. Shawnee with a commanding 2-0 set lead at the Sets, Spikes, and Sundown event at Shawnee High School. Nate Garlic, Miles Holiday on hand. Tonight's presentation of volleyball brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. Hey folks, if you want to find a great podcast, one that Brooke Hutchins was just recently on, check out the three wise men on WOSN. Join Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock every week as they discuss local football matchups, Ohio State football, and sports all throughout Ohio on WOSN's newest podcast, The Three Wise Men. And I got to tell you, Nate, Nate and Miles are fantastic on that podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, the good news is we, we, we're okay enough to carry that third guy <laughs> along with us. <laughs> well, if you're Brooke Hutchins, this has been a magical night having the first ever set, spike, and sundown. But you want to tell your ladies after set number two, let's end it early, right? Yeah, you don't want to extend this one. You don't want Spencerville to get that confidence up. And 
You know, this whole environment, though, out here, Miles, when you just look around, this is everything about tonight has a different feel. There are kids playing out on the field. You, you have uh, fans all along the court. You got lawn chairs out here. Everybody is dancing, singing. I mean, even the Spencerville so bench is having a lot of fun, even knowing that it's not you know, going their way so far. This whole environment has been incredible. You got to give Coach Hutchins and everybody at Shawnee a ton of credit for putting this together and having so much fun here tonight as a team. If you're worried about uh, Spencerville being too tight going in down two sets of set number three, I'm going to tell you, Kate Hemker, she is not tight. Just did the stinky leg to journey, of all things. <laughs> hey, you know what? When, when you're out here having that much fun, you, you can find a way to make it work for anything. Yeah, everybody's going to be a winner here tonight. Uh, everybody part of history. And, Nate, I don't know about you, but when we got this opportunity to broadcast this one, uh, I smiled because I wanted to be part of the crew to present this one. Yeah, me too. When I when I got the call asking me to fill in for that other guy that we know and hang out with quite a lot, um, you know, you know, normally, you know, you don't like seeing guys miss opportunities. I, you know, I, I didn't real feel real bad for him. I, I, was, I was happy for me in that moment. <laughs> Uh, here we go, a little stinky leg on the court as DJ Frenzy breaks it out. <laughs> Coach Hutchins now getting involved. This is this is an environment of volleyball that you will just not see anywhere else all year, I promise you that. Been a lot of fun. Spencerville now has an opportunity with Tatum Schwartz. Best serving ace on the Spencerville team, 14. Spencerville's coach. Keely Lehman returns the favor. She does a little stinky leg. Nate, what about you? You gonna break it out for everybody? Uh, yeah, I missed. You missed it. I already did it. Sorry, oh. Miles. You'll have to I catch was, you next time. I was yeah. distracted, and well, the stinky leg worked. It fired up Spencerville because Briley Cook. In the kitchen. There's a lot of phrases that I didn't think that we would ever talk or say or, uh, during a broadcast with high school volleyball, and it's, I think you just said one right there, Miles. Another big And block. you know what? It just continues to work. Here comes Spencerville. We talked about Shawnee not wanting to allow them to gain momentum, and they are up 2-0 here early in this third set. Briley Cook putting her stamp on set number three. That one's going to go through the hands of Kelsey Lee. 2-1 now. That's a shame for Spencerville because they're playing their best volleyball of the night. Goes through the hands of Lee. Side out to Shawnee. Yeah, and it wasn't even like, you know, Spencerville wasn't there or had the opportunity. It was just took her eye off the ball for a second, and she lost that opportunity. That one sails over your head this time, Miles. And Carly Hutchins, who is one of these uh, serve specialists for this Shawnee team, Nate. She can get on a run. Shawnee quickly got those two points back to tie this one up. Very little rotation on that one. There's Cook with the attack. Played well by Shawnee, but could not Bradley get there. Cook with a kiss Point, Spencerville. And Briley Cook with a big kill. and. She has dominated the early portions of this third set for Spencerville. Good first ball. Outside attack, handled well by Spencerville. Dump back corner, here we go again. Shawnee with an opportunity. Outside attack, and a little bit too long. Touch on the play, Josie. As I thought going to say, it was tipped. That. Okay. Because I, I thought that had gone a little bit long from our point of view. but It did go long, but the topside official said it had been contacted. That way it goes to Shawnee. Good work by Spencerville just to get it back over. Free ball attack in the middle. And we're going to have a net violation. And this is when we have seen Spencerville really struggle as they start letting those mental mistakes start creeping up. The net violations start piling up on them, giving Shawnee points, and that is one thing they cannot afford to do. We're going to have a rotation violation again. Good point by you, Nate, right on cue, right? Another free point authored by Spencerville for Shawnee. 
5-3 now, Shawnee Hutchins with the serve. Well, I thought that might have been a double. That one's going to go wide again. Shawnee on a little bit of a run now, open this up to a 6-3 lead. Hutchins now with four in a row. Goes again. This one's going to go a little bit long. Great communication by Spencerville. That was Schwartz that went back to check, but the teammate said, no, no, let that go. Three point. Emma Stump checks in for Shawnee. Great two ball to get it back up you and while, I'll tell you ball what. to Snapdragon yeah. by Upshaw. Yeah, I mean, you know, you talk about all the talent on that other side for uh, Shawnee, and I, uh, uh, they have a lot of great players. They're all really impressive, but I think I, right now, at least for me, the most impressive has been Gianna Upshaw, especially with that left-hand return. When she hits it true, there's a lot of pace on it. Yes, there is. All right, 7-5 now. Each set has been Spencerville getting a little bit better. First one was a runaway. Second one, a little bit of a fight. Now here in set number three, this has been their best, bever, best effort. And it's Bradley Cook now doing uh, a little stop on the corner, getting some moisture up. Yeah, they're kind of fighting a lo losing battle, it seemed like, on that one right now. Served by Lehman, and that's going to go it's wide for a free point. Out, you know, I think uh, I think going Save. forward, Miles, we're going to see a lot more uh, of games so like this. Back, Outdoors, making events. I, 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 I think that we're going to start seeing this be more of a regular thing for schools throughout the state. And everybody will learn from the last game and the last game and be able to make it better and better and better. I think the first thing that is... Uh, uh, the first thing is going to be how to deal with the weather, the mm. humidity and right. the moisture on the court. Because as this one goes, we're having more stoppages because it's more and more humid and you're seeing more moisture end up on this uh, court, which I guarantee you wasn't, their, their, most, their biggest concern was whether or not it was going to rain. Not was the humidity <laughs> going to make the right. floor slick. The rain from last night I think is a key contributor to the humidity here tonight. This is Cook from the back row, gets it to roll over. Shawnee couldn't get anything going, dumped it over. Joust at the net. And how about the block by Spencerville? A big time effort by Lee. Kelsey Lee times it well. And Spencerville keeping this one close, only down two now. See if they can string together some points. Nate, you brought up uh, this event becoming something maybe annual. I hope it is, right? Yeah. At least definitely. one every year. A poke over by Shawnee. You see some girls starting to slip because of the moisture. Point, Spencer are going to take advantage of it. And I think that, you know, obviously is going to be the concern for um, teams moving forward and looking to put on events like this is you don't want anybody to get hurt. Yeah, that was Rudisell that uh, did the splits, and she's being checked on by the top side official. Want to make sure she's okay. Yeah, we're hearing a lot more squeaking on the floor now, and everything's, you know, Getting a little bit, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe a little bit more dicey, maybe is the way to put it. Post into the net. Side out, Shawnee. If my calculation is correct, that is going to be the You're fifth free point the in this third Number set two, uh, given to Shawnee Boxing. from Spencerville. Yeah, and when in a two point set currently, you know, that could end up being huge as we move through here. Ace! Little location that time. Hubby wife disagreement in the back row. I got it. You take it. Nobody gets it. We all stare at it. Falls in for a point for Shawnee. Yeah, Bradley Cook and Allison Post just both looking at each other, thinking the other one was going to go for it. 10 7 now. Cook with a good first one. Battle at the net. Kelsey Lee uses the block for the point, and Kelsey Lee. Moment ago, had that big block on the left-hand side, scores this time on the right-hand side. Now, you wonder as if we go through this set, if maybe the conditions are going to start favoring Spencerville a little bit more as you'll see some of the power from Shawnee maybe get taken away as they're a little bit more tentative getting to the net. 
good opportunity right here. Goes to the outside, and it's going to go a little bit long. Shawnee says. Yep, it says it's going to be tipped again, as that one did go long, but the official at the net says it was tipped, so point goes to Shawnee. Right, good job by the official being on top of that one. 11-8 now, Shawnee. Not sure how Spencer was able to get that one up, but good job of fighting. Attack on the outside. Going the wrong way. Josie Hutchins with a uh, nice That took a rough shot. bounce off Deep of Lorelei Lehman. Uh, she was trying to set up Cook and ended up pushing this one a little bit deep. That's a shame for Spencerville because Kelsey Lee did a great job playing the angle, taking the, the first attack and getting it up in the air. And Maggie Jordan serving this one up. She's had herself a great night on that back row and going to add to her total of six coming Eddie into the night on aces. The polar bear, Jordan. Maggie Jordan slicing and dicing for Shawnee, and the PA announcer here, Nate, has more nicknames than anybody I've ever heard. Yeah, shout out Polar to Brian Bear. Daly. He does a lot of the uh, PA work here at Shawnee, all sports, and he Ace. comes with a lot of energy Maggie for all of these kids. Jordan. He called Maggie Jordan the Polar Bear. I, I got to find out what that one's about. That's a great one. 14-8, you might as well call her the Red Baron because she's an ace. Dump over by Spencerville. Slide attack, and that Harvey one's going to score on the outside. Could not be for a net violation. Point. We're going to have a timeout Come on the floor. Keely Lehman calls timeout. She's going to try and get Come the Bearcats to regroup. 15-8 Shawnee in set number three after claiming the first two sets. It is set spikes and sundown on WSN. Welcome back, Shawnee High School. Nate Garlock, Miles Holiday on hand here. What a great event this has been. And thank you to Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. And it is 15-8 in set number three. Timeout by the Bearcats trying to regroup. Running out of time here. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to string some points together. We've talked about it the last couple of sets. They've looked good in spurts, but they just haven't been able to sustain that yet for any long period of time in any of the three sets, really. And now here in this third set, it's starting to become desperation time. Good angle played by Shawnee. Roll shot over top. And we talked early in this match, Carly Hutchins was struggling a little bit going back to the outside hitting as this match has progressed. She seems more comfortable. Yep, yep. We said it was going to come. You weren't sure when and how she was trying to make the adjustments. You saw a little bit of frustration, but she has found it here in this third set. Just a terrific all-around player, Carly Hutchins. And, Nate, a fashion maven. Take a look at those sneakers, man. One blue, <laughs> one orange. Yep. I wonder if she has a second pair that look identical. You know, I think you may be onto something with that one. I'll tell you what, strong thinker games for on both sides of the floor tonight. You know, a friend of our Evan Skilleter would be all about what he's seeing out there tonight. Oh, he'd be seeing fly. Double contact in the back row allowed. Going to go into the net, though, by Cook. And it is quickly. A double-digit lead now for Shawnee. Yeah, we talked about Spencerville needing to string together some points and go on a run, but it's been the Indians that have done that as they're trying to put this one away. Dump over opportunity. Should be a free attack here for Shawnee. Oh, Cook with a denial. Outside attack, and it's going to hit Josie the floor. Hutchins the Hutchins ladder. sisters putting their stamp on set number three. First Carly, now Josie. The Indians looking strong here as we go deep into this third set. Maggie. Up 11. Jordan again on a run. This one's going to go into net. Another big point. Ace. Maggie Jordan Maggie on a huge run. Jordan. Uh, maybe they called her Polar Bear because she puts the opponents on ice. 
<laughs> yep. You know, it's as good a reason as any, right? It's been fantastic. So coming out of the timeout, the Indians have really been strong as they nice. have been able to go on a nice run. Jordan. And they're only four points away from putting this one away. Great effort to dive into the floor, Kelsey George. Lee, but it's not going to go for good for Spencerville. Another timeout by Keeley Lehman trying to hang on in this match. Spencerville down 21-8 here on WOSN. Welcome back to a historical night here at Shawnee High School. First ever outdoor volleyball match in the state of Ohio. He's Nate Garlock, I'm Miles Holiday, and this has been presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. Hey folks, if you like podcasts, don't forget to listen to The Three Wise Men. Join Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlic every week as they discuss local football matchups, Ohio State football, and sports all throughout Ohio on WOSN's newest podcast, Three Wise Men. Nate, I can easily say with confidence, it's the best podcast on WOSN. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, there might have been a little debate, but I feel like, you know, we really put that one to bed. And I, I feel like you said that wrong, though. You know, when we say that, it's got to be like the scene from Ron Burgundy, right, when he's reading out the <laughs> teleprompter. The Three Wise Men? <laughs> with a question mark, because there really is a question mark. But not a question mark with Maggie Jordan as she has been absolutely on fire serving this thing up. So we saw coming out of the last timeout that Shawnee went on a strong run. They're going to look to try to finish it up here. Emma Stump checks back in for Shawnee. Back row over to Cook. She dumps it. Outside attack. Look at the athleticism by Hutchins to spin around and get it over. And Cook's going to hit it into the net. This is a legendary run right here by Maggie Jordan. Only three points away from putting this one away. When she started to serve Miles, it was around 14 or 15, right? Yeah, it was 14-8. A little slide by Spencerville, but they can get it over. Outside to the pin, to the corner, played. And great work by Cook to try to get it up, but not going to get it done. And the Shawnee team celebrates because Emma Stump gets the kill. Great serve yet again, dives in the middle. Battle on the outside, and it's going to find the floor. Stump with back-to-back -back kills. And we are one away from set and great. That is why they call her Polar Bear. I don't know if you just missed what the PA said, but she's a future Polar Bear. She ah, commit, must have committed to ONU. Gotcha. And that would be why the nickname is what it is. Going to have a four contact, and that's going to end it. Shawnee gets the third set, 25 to 8. A clean sweep for Shawnee here tonight on the first ever set spikes and sundown. Nate Garlock, this has been a lot of fun. Your thoughts, my friend? Yeah, I think this was a tremendous event. I mean, you talk about the game itself, and Shawnee just came out, and you see why. Uh, there's so much talk and hype around this team. They're young, but they, they can attack you, and they're dangerous from all over the floor. It doesn't matter front row, back row, the corners. They can serve. They can dig. They can set. They can do everything that you need well. This is a very dangerous team, and they are only going to get better as the season goes on, and some of these young players get more experience. You know, in Spencerville, we saw flashes tonight, right? Briley Cook did a very nice job at the net at times. We saw some miscommunications uh, issues here and there, but you saw the talent that they have. They're just trying to get it all to come together for stretches right now. But overall, a, a tremendous night, a tremendous event. And you know what, Miles, I was happy to be a part of history with you oh, tonight. It was absolutely a great event. Loved it. Uh, Shawnee moves on to 6-2. and two. Uh, This uh, Spencerville team, Nate, I think good things are going to come later in the season. I think they're going to improve. Drop to 0-5, but I think there's going to be a good second part of the season for this team. Yeah, like I was just saying, I, you know, the you saw it in stretches, right? Or, I'm sorry, in, in spurts. You did. It, right now, it's just a matter of trying to get it to go for stretches. Be able to string that along. Be able to sustain w what they've shown out there. There's talent. They, they have size. They have strength. 
They just got to be able to put it together for long stretches. And tonight's broadcast was brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe. Chicken location in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. What a great night. It was so much fun working with you, Nate Garlock, on a historic night. Let's do it again next year if they have it. What do you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. I'm here. You heard it, folks. Make sure you have this thing again next year. Thanks, everybody, for watching on WSN again. It is Shawnee in three sets over top of Spencerville.